I love salmon, me. Love a bit of sushi. There's poke bowls now, they're everywhere. But I heard that farm salmon is not as good as wild salmon. But I also hear that we need farm salmon because we just don't have enough wild salmon to keep up with consumption of salmon. So I had some questions, so I thought I'd go to someone in the know. Chef, why is farm salmon so much cheaper than wild salmon? So don't be fooled by Atlantic salmon, right? This salmon is not wild salmon. This is from a farm, probably a farm that's in the Atlantic. Now, the difference between wild and farmed is wild salmon, you have to go out, you need to catch them. They don't live in an enclosed area. Now, farm salmon, the reason why there is so much farm salmon, and I'm talking like over 50% of the salmon that we're buying on a daily basis is farmed, is because we eat so much salmon that salmon just can't reproduce that fast in the wild, right? So we've had to go to farms to make sure that we can keep up with the demand. That means that we have all the salmon in one place, we know how many we're gonna get, the costs for fishing for them are much cheaper, and basically those salmon are fed on quite high fat diets you know they don't swim quite as much so they're a bit more full of saturated fat than a wild salmon would be but they've still got just as good amounts of the good fats for us but also as they don't swim and they don't have the kind of same diet that the wild salmon has they don't get that same pink color they're a bit more gray in color in the flesh i heard farm salmon is naturally gray not pink is that true yeah it's true wild salmon gets that natural deep red color from its diet it eats shrimp and it it's krill. That's why the flesh is that color. Farm salmon doesn't have the same diet. So they're fed on artificial dyes to make the flesh as close to the color of wild salmon as they can get. Now here's the difference. If you want to get more wild salmon and you find it super expensive, what you can always do, buy the tin stuff. Look out for that stuff when it's on sale, just as good. Is canned salmon as good as using fresh salmon? The fresh and canned fish have pretty much the same nutritional value. Both, you got great amounts of those good fats, those omega-3s. In fact, if anything, the tin stuff usually they leave the bones in when they they can that fish and they cook those tins at super high temperatures which means that it breaks down the bones a little bit and you get a bit more of the calcium inside of those tins so actually you're getting a bit more calcium when you have tin fish and i mean tin fish lasts for years and you basically canning that fresh fish at the height of freshness, right? Uh, so it's actually super convenient and you don't even need to cook it. How can I tell when my salmon is cooked fully? I don't wanna overcook it. So overcooked salmon is never great and it can go from nearly ready to overdone very quickly. So what you wanna do, if you think it's done, just take a knife, poke it into the thickest part, have a look. If it starts to flake, then it's good. Always remember, when you take it off the heat, it's gonna continue to cook a little bit more from the residual heat that's left in it. You can always put it back on if you think it's not quite there but you can never bring it back from overdone <laughs> but smoked salmon now that's a different story what's the difference between hot and cold smoked salmon because that cold smoke that stuff is expensive so cold smoked salmon or we just call it smoked salmon pretty much yeah is that one that you know it looks kind of raw you get it in thin slices now what happens with that is it's cured, like that, the process of curing is taking out the moisture, which makes it have a longer shelf life. You use salt to do that. So you cover it in salt that draws out the moisture. And then what happens is it's smoked, but it's not smoked at a temperature where it gets cooked. So it's like really fine wood chip dust. It doesn't really generate that much heat, but it just gives a lot of smoke, meaning you can smoke that stuff for hours and days, right? That's cold smoked or smoked. The hot smoked, which is usually labeled hot smoked, that is cooked at the same time that it's smoked, but it's the opposite to cold smoking where you want to take the moisture out you want to keep the moisture in so we use a brine of like a salt water brine to soak it then it goes into the smoker and you get heat and smoke that cook it and smoke it at the same time and you can get you know those beautiful finishes like the glazed finishes if you brush it with a little bit of maple syrup or something sign of a really good smoked salmon it shouldn't have any of those like white bits on the top of it what is that sticky looking white stuff that comes out of the salmon when i cook it it's called albumin now all it is is protein it's a protein that when the fish flesh is not cooked, it's a liquid. But when you start to cook the fish, you know, the muscles, the fibers start to squeeze up and it squeezes out this white liquid protein, albumin, squeezes it out to the surface of the fish. You can minimize it by cooking the fish as gently as possible. Also, you can cook it skin side down. That kind of creates a barrier between the flesh and the direct heat source. Get less of it on the fish as possible, but it's not dangerous or anything. It's just a protein that's in the muscle of the fish. Wow, so much amazing information, Chef. Like, I'm gonna be a walking encyclopedia of food soon. If you learn something new, hit the like button. Let us know, am I the only person that's learning here? And if you like that one, check this video, because I think you're gonna like this one too.